So this is from December 3rd. Know your covenant with me. It is unstoppable force. Roe versus Wade is being brought down and the Baal worship stopped in this nation. Morality is being brought back and so is the blessing brought back to this nation. Great blessings will flow again in this nation. It's hard to see now, but this will come to pass. All will be restored to this nation. And this was a prophecy called the hour of change. There's another one from December 9th. This is called the perfect storm. And it says, these are the signs I told you about, which are coming to pass. More prophecies are being fulfilled by the day. All hope is lost in the world for the enemies of my children. Riots are about to break out after the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Yes, the enemy will try to fill the streets once again with chaos, but I, the Lord, will deal with the ones in the streets and the ones that drove them there to do this. There was another one I had back in October 30th of 2021 called the changing of your capital. Now my children shout with a voice of triumph. The one who are standing may not be in many in number, but the remnant I have in this earth is mighty, great in my power to destroy evil and wickedness in this earth. Call down evil laws in the land. Call them down and completely destroy them. Roe versus Wade come down, and now you can no longer stand in this earth. The great removal. For I have called this nation by my name because of past covenants that I have not yet walked away. You will see my mighty righteous right arm upon this nation. You will have to rewrite your historical history books. I am dealing with the Supreme Court, said the Lord. I am dealing with the Supreme Court. My spirit is going to flow on the highest Supreme Court of your land. And they will know the fear of the Lord, which you see now will be turned over, say with the Lord. Which you see now will be turned over, say with the Lord. And once again, they will know that my hand is on what you call the United States and not the divided states. Fear not my people that are called by my name. You will understand when I say, this is not just the year, but the season that I am pouring new wine and new wine skins. Prepare yourself, saith the Lord. Prepare yourself, saith the Lord. I will be visiting many of my children in a unique way. This is a season of recovery, said the Lord. From the White House to God's house. I have been waiting for this moment to tell you victory is mine against abortion. They will lose their agenda to murder my babies, even after birth. I say no, and the courts will side with me, for it is my plea. And America, get ready to fall on bended knee so you can be set free. I want to share what will happen as America comes back to me. With the Supreme Court's decision that will be overturning a 50-year cycle that is about to happen, the states will make the choice of who they will follow. The new law of the land or the continuing of the murdering of my babies. I say woe to any state that disagrees with me. It's time to start thinking of where you want to live during these end days because my judgment is coming on the entire world. And where will you be when it all happens as the finances come into your hands? States that are still murdering my babies will be dealt with, but there will be certain safe areas that are faithful to me and I will hold my hand of blessing towards them. So make sure you start to look and learn and decide where you would like to live to escape the states of the locations of judgments to come.
Something big is going to happen. And the 18th, and he wrote this on his website, uh, will not disappoint. Some event's going to happen on the 18th of September. What's the significance of Ruth Bader Ginsburg dying on September 18th, Bull Pony? Talk about a big event. You know, the Supreme Court of, of the United States is now short one, one judge. That Supreme Court justice is going to change dramatically the events of the future. So when that position is filled, you will find that the things that have been holding the world back, that have been basically an abomination to God, are going to soon be changed. Uh, and that directly uh, relates to Roe versus Wade. So because we turned our back to God 50 years ago by destroying his creation. Uh, so that's abortion. So because we allowed this, God turned our... This is why this happened, Greg. Because we turned our back to God 50 years ago for allowing abortion, the, the destruction of his creation. So God turned his back on us for 50 years and allowed the harlot to gain control. I wanted to have a bill but, in but California. Because it's 50 years now, God's now going to intervene and it's the Leviticus time point. Go ahead. You were talking about Rosh Hashanah. That it was a day that uh, you said, Ginsburg I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be epic. And I mean, people write me, look, when nothing happened, you know, at four o'clock, at five o'clock, and then at 8 30, it announced, yes, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Supreme Court Justice, has died. And it was just like, Bleh. That's a pretty big deal. <laughs> I mean, right? She she right. basically underpinned the uh, abortion. Now, right, because, now she, because, because then Amy's going to come up to be a, a, a very, very good soul. And she's then going okay. to rule in favor of, of uh, you know, uh, she's then going to rule against Roe v. Wade. And so all of this, all of this was in God's plan. Okay, he Jackson. put it all together from the beginning. He put the end together. You know, he knew the end at the beginning. Roe v. Wade is going down this year. 50 years ago, abortion was argued between the Supreme Court. Abortion's going down. Yeah.